The procedures and fear of cataract surgery. It's an emotive subject. People don't like their eyes being fiddled with. But it's actually one of the most common procedures that you can have done. It's very, very safe, but nothing is without risk. And we will run into, we will talk about that and the consent process is really important. I do a lot of medical legal work and so consent is vital for me. I need to make sure that you're informed about the issues. The procedure itself, I see you in the clinic, we have a chat about the cataract, I confirm the cataract, make sure there are no other problems. We scan your eyes to work out what sort of lens to put into the eye and what power of lens to put into the eye to correct for your distance or near vision issues. After that, you come for the day of surgery. Often people are nervous and it's normal to be nervous and you really shouldn't worry about being nervous. I think you were crazy if you weren't nervous. The anaesthetic's probably the worst bit of the whole thing. We put a little tube, so not a needle, around the side of the eye and that numbs the eye up. After that, the operation itself is only about five or 10 minutes long. I'm getting pretty good at this. I'm talking to you throughout, so you don't have to worry about a single thing. It's weird, you're covered up with a light paper drape, but literally it's only five or 10 minutes. You'll be listening to music throughout and we'll be chatting, so it will be really stress-free. Often patients wonder what the fuss was about, and in the great majority of situations, they are delighted with it and really eager to come back for the second eye. It's really nothing to worry about. There are anaesthetic options. We can do general anaesthetic, but I really don't think you need to. I do very, very few general anaesthetics. They are a bit more expensive, but money aside, you feel groggy afterwards, you can feel sick afterwards, and you, you feel a bit under the weather for a couple of days. A general anaesthetic knocks you for six, and in the great majority of patients, we do not need it. The most common thing that I do is block the eye, and that means I apply local anaesthetic around the eye so it numbs the eye up. So after that little few seconds of horribleness at the start, everything's okay and you don't feel anything at all. That is by far my preference. We can do it just under drops, but the problem is with just drops, one, you feel things a little bit, not pain, but you feel there's something going on. And two, you have to cooperate and look up into the bright light. I did something a while ago where I, was, where I took 20 patients and then I did one eye with local anesthetic with the block, the other eye with just the drops, and then I did their other eye the other way around. So they had one eye with the drops and one eye with the anesthetic. And by far the preference was for the anesthetic because they felt that actually, once they had that horrible bit, just like when you have your tooth anesthetized before you have a filling, once you've had that fault, the, the horrible bit at the start, you could just relax and forget about everything. So my preference is to use a local anesthetic block for you. It's not fun. Rest assured it hurts me as much as it hurts you but we numb the eye up and then you relax for 10 minutes and I sort it out for you. Throughout the whole thing, you can hold somebody's hand if you need to, and I promise you, we'll get you through it and it will be fine. We deal with a lot of patients who are really nervous. I deal with a lot of patients who are really worried about it. And almost universally, they come through fine and they wonder what all the fuss was about. That's the beauty of coming to me in that I talk to you and we're in it together, so you really don't have to worry.